And we're back. And Heidi writes, why not do a show on duct tape? Goodness, I love that stuff. Where does it come from? Why is it so popular for things other than ducts? Who started the duct tape wallet? Why do we love it so much? Now there's colorful duct tape. Why are we so addicted? That's a lot of questions. I don't think we're gonna get to all of them. But we are gonna talk about duct tape. When I was a kid, I used to call it duct tape. Although I could never figure out why you would need to tape a duck. And now I'm all grown up and I tape ducks to everything. Every day. It turns out I should have kept calling it that. In World War II, Johnson & Johnson were enlisted to manufacture a waterproof tape for ammunition cases. The soldiers started calling it duck tape. Like duck Wah. tape. I think it's because ducks are waterproof. Or at least very water resistant. You really gotta be careful about what you say is waterproof. Because ducks can drown. Anyway, as soldiers do, they invented a million different uses for it. Fixing jeeps, patching clothes, makeshift bandages. Hey, when you're in a tight spot, you have to improvise. After the war, somebody figured cloth-based rubber adhesive tape would be a great sealing for duct work. Duct work. Sealant for duct work. Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. You try saying it five times fast. The color was changed from green to silver along with the name. But that didn't stop us from using it on everything else. You'll find it on movie sets, frisbees, aquariums, balls, bags, clothes. The guy behind the camera used it to temporarily patch his surfboard. And just the other day, I saw somebody using duct tape to keep their trunk closed after it'd been dent dented in an accident. See, it's not just the ducks that get you. Wah. Me, I use it for hair removal. No, not really. Duct tape was even used to save the lives of the Apollo 13 astronauts. Duct tape in space. In different industries, it has different colors and different names, like gaffer's tape, spike tape, missile tape, 100 mile an hour tape, and that's only a few. And one of those industries I never would have guessed, fashion. That's right, there's tons of duct tape apparel. Not just wallets and hats, we're talking suits, dresses, couches. That's a lot of tape. Wah. Interestingly enough, while duct tape is great for the million and one uses we've invented for it, including some very crazy stories about the military using it to fix jet airplanes, there's one thing it's not great for, sealing ducts. Ironic? Yes. A three month study in 1998 at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory tested 32 sealants, including duct tape. They baked it, they chilled it, and they simulated all kinds of nasty closed attic conditions. Duct tape was the only one that failed out of everything they tested. And it failed consistently. So, uh, no good for ducts, huh? Maybe we should change the name. Again. I mean, everybody says duck anyway. And, uh, Heidi? I don't think we answered many of your questions, but hopefully you like the show anyway. We're kind of just getting started again. Wah. Wah.